Perfect. All right. Um, okay, so why do you make giving back to junior golf and giving back through your foundation, the Jordan Speed Family Foundation, a priority in your life outside of professional golf? Uh, well, there's couple reasons. One, because there are organizations that allowed me to get to the position I'm in today. So um, I like to support those who made it possible for me to get here. And then two, um, whether it's from um, kind of the way I grew up, you know, like with special needs, we, I really like to support special needs. My little sister has it. So that certainly impacted our family's life, uh, my entire life. Uh, or it's stuff that we've kind of come into being inspired by uh, in the last, you know, three to ten years, like military organizations or pediatric cancer, um, to just stuff that we're really passionate about, and to be able to have a platform to go and help others uh, that don't really have the things that a lot of times we take for granted. It seems like a no-brainer. And then, just more specifically, why is it important for you to give back to junior golf? Well, I think um, first of all to kind of help grow the game is is really special. It's a game that I love. I mean, it's the, the thing I'm most passionate about in life is playing golf. And uh, so if I can kind of help a little kid that's kind of wondering what they should do, um, anything that I do helps push him a little bit towards the game and helps maybe grow it a little bit. It's really cool for me, but it's such a great game that in, installs such amazing values uh, that you carry with you the rest of your life. And I think that's overall as a, as a society, the more people that are playing golf, the better off we are. Sweet. And then um, how would you say the AJJ helped you as a junior golfer? Well, the AJGA opened up a level of competition that I couldn't necessarily just get uh, here in Dallas or, or in Texas, which had fantastic competition, but it allowed me to um, not only have the competition of playing against the best players in the country at some of the greatest courses in the country, but also the values that the AJGA keeps on pushing, your care for the course and um, you know pace of play type stuff, as well as just um, integrity, honesty, you know, just your, your core values of, of golf in general, uh, they certainly push that into you as a, as a kid and it, and it carries with you. Sweet. And then what is a piece of advice you wish someone had given you back when you were a junior golfer in high school? I'd say maybe don't take things too seriously and have, have more fun. You know, there are times where you get in the grind and you almost, almost get a little too serious like you're like a professional even in junior golf and I think um, really cherish those times with your friends because you start to move off and you kind of lead your separate lives and those are just times that you look back on and um, you kind of wish that you had again and um, maybe you're fortunate to have some friends out on tour someday maybe everything works out but um, all in all we even us on tour do wish that we had those days back when you know we were just playing ping pong or just messing around and or um, having putting contests on the greens you know now everyone's got their devices and they're all taking everything seriously but those old putting contests at AJGA events are some of the best times. Yeah definitely that's awesome. Okay and then uh, many junior golfers today look to you and other professionals like Justin Thomas or Ricky Fowler as role models. Is that something you imagine happening when you're playing the AJGA as a kid? No, I don't think I imagined it playing the AJGA. I, at that point, you know, I just wanted to, to be a professional golfer um, someday and play the PGA Tour. That was my dream. And, um, you know, now it's just really cool. It's really cool to, um, uh, to be able to, I guess, inspire but it, other individuals or, or kids. But at the same time, it's a responsibility. I mean, you have a, a way that you're supposed to carry yourself. and. Um, on and off the golf course and I know I constantly think about that and I know that um, pretty much the entire PGA Tour thinks about that too. It's just a, my peers are, are such fantastic role models for me and they have been since I've been out on tour. So I feel lucky that I had those guys when I was a junior golfer and I feel lucky I have them now. Yeah, sweet. Okay, so of all your junior career highlights including being the 2009 Rolex Junior Player of the Year and winning five AJG events including three invitationals, what from your junior career are you still the proudest of? Uh, I think I think it was maybe 2008, seven or eight, where I won the Ping Invitational um, the first time. I remember going up against Corey Whitsitt, who was the number one junior ranked in the country, and playing at Carson Creek, one of the toughest golf courses in the country. And I remember just playing that front nine and making every putt I looked at, and ended up erasing I think like a three or four shot deficit and won by a few strokes. Um, and that was that was around where I was like, man, you know, I can I can really take my game to the next level. It was a really cool moment. Cool. 
And then uh, last one for the video camera, why was endowing an ACE grant important to you? Again, the AJGA just did so much for me uh, in creating that kind of competition and those values that allowed me to be in the position I am today. Um, so it was kind of a matter of time till uh, you know I thought that it'd be the right opportunity to give back, and the fact that I could be a, a small part of you know four million dollars that's been donated to the ACE grant over the last 15 years or so is is really special. I'm glad to just be one of those individuals. Sweet, cool. That's it for the video camera, and then we'll do Instagram. Okay.